Stan Jabalisco here, showing you the full screen calculator for Windows 8.1. And in particular, I'm going to talk today about this key right here, F-E. Now, I had no clue what that F-E meant, but I used my motto for learning all kinds of things like software, uh, particularly software, and that is the C-O-E-I-S mode, click on everything in sight. Heaven forbid that I should go and try and find a set of instructions or demonstration videos showing me how to use this calculator. I want to learn by myself by simply clicking on keys and seeing what they do. I can be pretty sure they're not going to blow up the computer or reach out and strangle me or something like that. The worst thing I can do is I'll not be able to figure out what it does. <laughs> But I know what this one does, and that is to convert a number to scientific notation, also known as power of 10 notation. So let's do something like this. Let's just put a huge number in here. So huge that I don't even know how to read it off. There's, there's the thousands, the millions, the billions, the trillions. So it's 236 trillion. Blah, 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 blah. Now, that may be like the number of stars in the universe or the number of atoms in the universe or maybe something, something uh, a really huge number that scientists often encounter. And they don't want to write it out like that every time they have to do something like that. What they want to do is write it in scientific notation. So they change it to two point something or other whatever those numbers happen to be, times 10 to the 14th power. E plus 14 means times 10 to the positive 14th power. This E has nothing to do with the exponential constant, that E. And that particular method of displaying power of 10 notation on a calculator confuses a lot of people because when they see this E, they think it has something to do with this e, which is an irrational number roughly equivalent to 2.71828. No, it has nothing to do with that at all. This You can round this off uh, to as many decimal places as you want, and that can be convenient. Say it's 2.365. We can round that up to 2.366, because this next digit is an 8. 2.366 times 10 to the 14th power. <coughs> that, okay, you always have one digit to the left of the decimal point in power of 10 notation uh, so that it makes things a lot simpler. You wouldn't put the decimal point anywhere else but after the very first digit, which, by the way, can be a zero, but it can't be no digit at all. You don't write point blah 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 at least not here in the United States, we don't generally do that. So that is how to convert a number to scientific notation or power of 10 notation. That number in scientific notation on this calculator looks like that. Okay, let's try a really small number now. By small, I mean positive, but very close to zero. Well, let's uh, a very, very tiny number, obviously, but it's positive. Now, when we convert here, we get 1.25 times 10 to the mi minus 14th power. That's a number that's positive, but very close to zero. This calculator will convert between those two modes uh, by simply hitting this key. And that can be a great help. Because if you see something like that and you for some reason want to see what it looks like in its full glory, um, rather if you see something like this and you want to see it in its full glory, you can just hit that key and get this. But, but who wants to try and count up all those zeros? You just know that this is a really small number and there it is. 1.25 times 10 to the minus 14th. So that's how those... Uh, Key, that's how those types of functions work, is they are used by scientists and engineers and things like that 
things, creatures, critters, like that, in order to express extreme numbers. Stan Jibalisco, remember you now, you have to put this calculator in the scientific mode in order for this to work. Stan Jibalisco signing off for now. Until the next demonstration, which I'm sure you can hardly wait for, so long.